quote from Elizabeth Edwards, a positive attitude isn't going to save you. What it is going to do is every day between now and the day you die, whether that's a short time from now or if that's a long time from now, is that every day you're actually going to live. Lacking a positive attitude can cause many difficulties, like fights in school and things like bullying. How, you ask? I've done a study on some of my fifth grade classmates, and over 80% of the kids I've tested, asking them what they do when they get mad or upset, respond by hitting or throwing something. This could be the cause of bullying and fights. Just think about it. If a child is at home and he or she gets mad or upset, they can just go into their room and do whatever they want. But if they're at school, though, they have to keep this aggression in for six hours or more. Some kids just can't take it. They take their anger out on other kids by bullying and fights. However, if everybody handles aggression by taking in a deep breath or meditating, these problems will go away slowly. If a child hits something at age 10, how do you think they're going to do later on in life, like applying for a job or trying to get into college? I'm thinking not so well, right? This report will mold you into a positive thinking master, but that's not all. All you have to do is sit back and listen. According to James A. Baldwin, a writer and civil rights activist, he says, I've always believed you can think positive just as well as you can think negative. Let me tell you why it's important to be positive in the first place. What if I told you it could save your life? Let's say you're walking through the woods and you come across a big black bear. You have nothing to defend yourself with. If you choose to run away or call for help, this could cause a grisly result. But if you decide to think positively and calmly, you could maybe walk away silently or scare the bear into leaving. Also, who would you rather have as a friend, a negative person or a positive person? Who would you rather have going to your college, a negative person or a positive person? And who would you rather hire for a job, a negative person or a positive person? These are all great reasons why you should be a positive person. Now I'm going to teach you how to be a positive person. No, actually, I can't teach you anything. You have to decide to listen with a positive mindset for yourself. One reason the society is lacking positive thinking is because of TV and video games. That's right, kids and adults TV shows. You may not have noticed, but just about every single TV show has a conflict with a terrible solution, like swearing, smoking, or hitting something like 80% of my classmates. Who would have thought? Our very own role models are the reasons why sometimes we're negative. 50 years ago, when kids and adults didn't watch TV like we do now, everybody looked up to successful and positive people, like baseball players or multimillionaires such as Carnegie and Rockefeller. As a result, people back then solved problems more maturely and more positively than we do now. So if you want to kickstart on being more positive, this is what you need to do. Set a goal for yourself on how many minutes you spend a day on any kind of electronic device. Naturally, narrow it down. It would just say five minutes a day until you get into a healthy range of 15 or 30 minutes. Another way to become more positive is to meditate. I know it sounds silly, but former head coach of the Chicago Bulls, Phil Jackson and Michael Jordan meditated. This kept them more calm in games and more importantly, more positive with bad calls from refs. When Phil Jackson coached the Bulls to six championships, he faced tremendous difficulties, like having young players on the team feel important, not just his stars, Michael Jordan or Scottie Pippins. He solved these problems more maturely than any other coach in the NBA who had a star on their team. This is the attitude that led the Bulls to so many championships and Phil Jackson to the best winning record in NBA history. If Phil Jackson and Michael Jordan can do it, why can't you? All you have to do is set another simple goal for yourself. Maybe in the time you're not watching TV, maybe you should meditate. Start off meditating just five minutes a day and work your way up to 15 or 20. Thank you for listening to my presentation. But before I let you go, I have a famous quote from Henry Ford. If you think you can't do something, or if you think you can, you are right. So let's all have a say in being more positive.